Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. This is a full lace wig install with a blunt cup bar. Of course, we're going to start off with our cornrows. I don't know how much I put in her hair. Maybe about 6 to 7 or 7 to 8. I don't know. I just put in a couple. Sometimes on myself, I will put four, but when I do it, I make sure that those braids are tight and flat because I wouldn't want my wig to be like humpy at the top. when I was plucking but I'm gonna make a separate video for you guys where I'm showing y'all very detailed how I pluck my front of face and close here I'm rubbing some alcohol dang that was fast now, now I'm cutting the lace I'm moving like a mentor so y'all cutting the ear tabs around the ear yes sir. now can y'all see how natural that hairline looks it is very very natural very much coming out the scalp Here I'm going to go ahead and apply the glue and yes, obviously y'all, I did not use a stocking cap. Now the reason why I didn't use a stocking cap, do you guys see how far from her hairline that I'm putting the glue? Her forehead and her preference is pretty big, so she usually likes to put the wig a little closer. So it's like, I just felt like there's no point of putting in the stocking cap because it's not like I'm going to touch her edges anyways. But I'm not telling you if you have a client that, you know, wants their wig all the way over here, don't use a stocking cap. You know, this is my best friend. She doesn't keep her hair, her hair in that long anyways. So I just feel like it's no point. I did leave it on a little bit too long. I'll show you guys in a second. You like this length, right? Me too, baby. Still. I'm gonna cut a little bit. A little bit. Look. Sure. Just as long as I have before. Yeah, because there's no real bump into this. You see what I'm saying? It's like a wrap. Yeah, I mean, I mean. <laughs> Oh, you want any preparation? I didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up to me. Let me see. Yeah, let's see. straight across but what I can say that I do is I have my client tilt her head like I just had her do that way I can get what's underneath and make sure it's a nice clean cut design design design
time to go ahead and pass the flat iron through the hair one more time. And do y'all see she still has the lace on? Like I mudged it. I left it on entirely too long. exact how I would really want to but I don't know how so I just stick to my razor and as if you watch this part you'll see I'm like pulling the lace up because it's been stuck on too long all the excess lace is now you know this it's melted at this point look look how I'm pulling on it y'all this look this is sad. I have to. I forgot about the lace. I was in the mood of trying a new method. I completely forgot. You guys do not be me. Like, just remember that it's on there and cut it. Just leave it off for about 10 15 minutes, dry it, blow dry it, and you should be fine.
down with the alcohol from the excess glue. We're trying to get that off so it doesn't get sticky. And as you can see, she is already filling herself. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share my channel. design.